So we feel bad when we're ignored by others, even by people who we don't know. Does being ignored by others result in us behaving aggressively towards others? In 2005, Warburton and colleagues used the hot sauce paradigm, where they instructed participants to make a burger for a stranger. All the participants knew about the stranger was that they really disliked spicy food, but had to eat the entire burger that the participants made for them. They were also told that the sauce was really spicy. Some of the participants were ostracised, while others were not. The question is, how much hot spicy sauce did the participants add to the stranger's burger? Warburton and colleagues found that participants who were ostracised added more than four times more hot sauce to the stranger's burger compared to those who were not ostracised. Well, that's really interesting because the stranger didn't ignore those ostracised individuals. The stranger is literally just a random person who happened to come into the participants' field of vision after they felt rejected. Twenge and colleagues in 2001 did this study where they told participants that they will meet other participants and engage in some small group discussions with them, talking about themselves, their dreams, their aspirations. Afterwards, the participants completed a personality questionnaire and they rated how much they liked the other participants in the group. The experimenter then comes back and tells the participants that they were the least liked person in the group because everyone listed them as the person they liked the least in their questionnaire. In addition, the experimenter said to those participants, after looking at your personality questionnaire, we think you're going to live and die alone later in life. Twenge and colleagues found that those who were rejected and told that they were going to live and die alone later in life behaved more aggressively compared to those who were not told this information. When the rejected participants were given the opportunity to annoy someone, they not only blasted higher levels of aversive noise at the person who had insulted them, they also inflicted the same level of discomfort to a neutral person. Again, the neutral person didn't reject those participants, and yet they were still being lashed out on. It might seem obvious that when you tell people negative things about them, that they become more aggressive. But if we take a look at those who behave violently and aggressive towards others in real life, like school massacres, often the reasons for what they've done are themed around rejections, sexual humiliation, bullying and other negative experiences.